is it is it just the black and white language of the constitution that is constitutional law or is that embedded in constitutional law as developed by the case law in relation to the us constitution it is said that 9 tenths of us constitutional law is not written in the uh, in the us constitution as sitting as a full court each time a full court is constituted is that like a tabula rasa a blank slate that we can write on it whatever we want and disregard settled law fundamental law fundamental rights is this uh, within the power even of a full court if we are to do that as a full court disregarding previous precedents then surely we have to have some weighty reasons to say declare for example today that fundamental uh, excuse me independence of judiciary is not a salient feature of the constitution that independence of judiciary is not a fundamental right if it is not a fundamental right how do we access to justice it's not a question of I'm speaking for myself but putting it as a question to you of uh, whether this is the chief justice or the three member committee who is parliament to say it's a three member committee why shouldn't it be a five member committee why shouldn't it be a seven member committee if the answer is that the uh, that the supreme court means the chief justice and all the courts then parliament should have made a law saying this committee shall constitute of the chief justice and all the judges of the supreme court that is they are the ones who will decide whatever is written in section 2 and whatever is written in section 3 can parliament pick and choose can parliament say no three judges is okay with us five judges is not is is too much one judge is too little these are aspects that go to the independence of the judiciary today parliament says not less than 5 uh, judges to hear interpretation section kaun sa hai wo aapka section 4 tomorrow parliament says ye ek law bana deti hai ji i don't know family matters are to be heard by bench of not less than 7 judges is that that is is that part of the access to justice ai yeah, that part of independence of judiciary it is fundamental rights fundamental rights अभी आप देखें अमेरिका में कितना वो बना हुआ है वो जो है आपका राइट ऑफ अबॉर्शन वो कहा लिखा है कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में लिखा है कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन नहीं लिखा था वो राइट दे दिया पेनम्बरा में आ गया ना उसके बाद उन्होंने कहा वो ओरिजिनलिज्म पे लोग जा रहे हैं कि जी बस आप देखें जी उसके अल्फाज में लिखा है तो लिखा है वरना नहीं लिखा और वो भी जो दो साल पहले की इंटरप्रिटेशन है इज दिस द स्टेट ऑफ द लॉ इन पाकिस्तान दिस द स्टेट ऑफ द लॉ इन टर्म्स ऑफ इवन फुल कोर्ट जजमेंट as a full court as the supreme court as the defenders of the constitution the question is are we to allow any erosion of independence of judiciary access to justice and would that not be the grossest violation of fundamental rights